Today we have a critical signal from NVIDIA, the dominant player in AI and chip making. NVIDIA has been consolidating for quite a long while, since middle of May 2024, up to now. But the signal that we're going to cover today is very clear, very powerful, and pretty much it means that we're going higher, potentially a lot higher. So for those who, who don't know, NVIDIA is the leading AI chip maker. They have a product that's pretty much the most powerful chip in the world. And all the AI companies fight to get this, these chips as soon as they get out from NVIDIA. So they cannot make them fast enough. Only the need from Tesla, for example, is sufficient to keep NVIDIA busy for a very, very long time. See, they pretty much have a monopoly on chip making and therefore they're on their own, barely no competition or very minimal competition. They have a bunch of products that everybody wants and they are making money hand over fist, meaning that they are gonna continue to make profits and that equates to higher share price we're going to focus on the signal that we have today i'm going to zoom in a little bit more here on the top part of the chart and as you see here we had a pretty big resistance at 140 dollars which we were in a volatile environment up to 95 we went as high as 140 back to 95 then we came again back to 130, 100, went back to 140, and now we broke out exactly today. So we are in price discovery. We've never been here for NVIDIA. And because we just broke a very important resistance, this could mean quite a bit of upside in the upcoming weeks and months. This coincides with the Fed cutting rates and the injection of liquidity that is coming in the U.S., but it's also already started in China and globally all countries are going to start printing money and this will boost speculative assets like stocks and Nvidia will benefit from that flow of money. So what should we expect from Nvidia? And the signal here Either we break and we go on a straight line, that to me is the simplest way, but most of the time that's not the way it goes when we have a breakout. So ideally what I like to see from a stock is that the price goes up and then comes back to support, trades a little bit sideways and then resumes the upside. So that's what I like to see. And if we see that, it means that really the $140 becomes really solid support. And then when it turns upwards, this is where you want to get in. This is the big, big, big trade region where you have the le least risks. So if the stock turns and it breaks, you set it right away. So you have a very minimal loss. Instead of, instead of chasing it when it goes up, it comes back. As soon as you see it turn, you take your position and then you're ready to go for the next leg, the next leg up for Nvidia. That's what I would love to see. I don't know if it's going to happen. This is not financial advice. I'm not telling you guys to buy the stock, but this is normally a typical retracement to support and then a push upwards into all-time high territory. And then how high it will go, it depends on the buying pressure, if there's liquidations that come into play, all kinds of factors lead to the upside. But as you see here on the chart on the right, it's increments of $10. So it could be that support and resistance levels will follow that as you saw here with 140 region here 
the 130 region here and the $100 region here. Usually it's even numbers and in the case of NVIDIA it seems to be even numbers that are respected. So potentially that's what will happen in the future. So is there a high chance of breaking down? In my opinion, not financial advice, less possibility, maybe 10% out of the 100 in my opinion, but the risk in NVIDIA is pretty low to invest in this company. Why? It's a dominant player. It has a monopoly or practically a monopoly with a lot of its products, including the chips that are used for AI. Note that the need for those chips will only increase for the next five years or so. There's not enough production of those chips. So NVIDIA is in for a really, really amazing period where they're gonna generate a lot, a lot of profits. So they have a product in demand. They're the only ones who manufacture it and they pretty much can pick the price at which they sell it and therefore their profit margins. So they will continue to generate cash and you want to be in a company that is disrupting, that is leading its field and that is generating a lot of profits and that limits your downside and you know very bad results and very big corrections or things like that you may expect volatility that's normal but if the conti the company continues to make money it gives you the best conditions for higher stock prices and if you see, if you see it here if we go to the weekly chart on Nvidia it's not something that has happened recently this big run-up that we're seeing right now started in October of 2022. Since then, it has gradual upwards movement. And we have had one consolidation period here, a second one in here, a third one longer here with more volatility, but we're still going to continue upwards. You see it here, ME200 is up and to the right, MA50 up and to the right, below the share price. So everything is extremely bullish for Nvidia. For those who like the stock, it will perform. What percentages are you going to, to get out of the stock? Nobody knows once it is in price discovery, but it's gonna go up. And it's gonna go up for a while as it dominates its field, unless they have huge problems with manufacturing and they cannot sell the chips anymore or something but they have zero competition on what they're doing and they will continue to dominate for a lot of years so this is one of the safest tech stocks to invest in that has momentum that is in price discovery and could go a lot lot higher hope you enjoy and learn something today Ciao.